Algebra Equations Exam Preparation Questions Part 2 Remember that you can find this chapter in the Y equals MX plus C Mathematics textbook from page 1 to 3, Part 1, Grade 10 and 11. Let's continue. Solve the equations. Now, again, as you can see, this is a quadratic equation, okay? So, uh, first, we will always try to see if it can factorize. So, in this case, if we look at this one, let's just start there. Just move it down a little bit. It can factorize. This is in group B, if you look previous videos. Um, if you're going to factorize, let's make it 4 and 2 and 5 and 3. So we can say this is 10, this is 12. And 12 minus 10 will be 2 because you, have, you subtract the overcross products. And then the biggest overcross product, which in this case will be 3 and 4, and that will get the negative sign. So it's opposite signs, positive, and then it's x, x. So it's 5x plus 4 and 3x plus 2. So always, if you see a quadratic equation and they don't say anything else, go try to see if you can factorize. Okay. So then you put this, it's either this bracket which is equal to 0 or it's this bracket that's equal to 0. So then I take the 4 over, I divide by 5, take the 2 over, I divide by 3 and there is my two answers. So Quadratic, x to the power 2, um, I will show you in chapter 6, it's a parable. So it's usually, it's not to say, but usually it cuts the x-axis in two places. And that's why you have two solutions. Okay, so then if you go to the next one, now solve the equation. As soon as you see something like this, show all your working and give your answer correct to two decimal places. That's already showing you it cannot factorize. Okay, so use your quadratic formula. And there is the quadratic formula. So, and don't forget, I write it down. And this value in front of x squared is a. This value in front of x is b. And don't forget to grab that sign. And this is c. And I just do normal substitution. And don't forget always do substitution in brackets okay and now i just start simplifying and then as soon as you press on your calculator can i show you the two options so the one you're going to press negative seven plus square root 73 don't forget to press equal then divide four if you don't want to press that equal you must put the brackets in Okay, very, very important. And for your second option, you're going to say x, and now I'm taking the negative route. So it's negative 7 minus square root 73 equal, or go for the brackets, divide by 4. And always remember, they see two decimal places, so that is my two answers. That's using the formula. Okay, it's all quadratic, but they can also ask another one. They can say by completing the square. So don't avoid, you must go into that depth also and make sure you can complete the square. And now they say, give your answer correct to three significant figures. Okay, but let's see how we do. Go to the textbook. There's a, love, there's a lot of examples and it's really going to help you. I'm just refreshing your memory in this video. Okay. So the first thing is that this x squared must be equal to 1. Okay, so I divide 5, all the terms by 5. Okay, then also don't forget that this constant term, the value, the one without an x must go to the other side. Okay, and now I start. I'm, I'm going to add on both sides. I'm trying to make this, this side a complete square. Square. How do I do? Not trying, I'm making it. I take the middle, I take the middle value, that value of b, and I always divide it by 2. Okay, and then I square the result. And whatever I add on this side, to, without changing the equation, I also have to add on the other side. Okay, 
If we come to expressions, and I'll show you that you, to you in chapter 6, then I will add and subtract. But for, for equations, I add both on both sides. Now, remember, this is a complete square. So this is x, and just take 2 divided by 2 is 1, and you square, and it's always that sign. And, I, and again, I want to say, go to the textbooks. There's a lot of examples to pra practice in the textbook. Okay, I press this, press it on your calculator, but it's 2 over 5 plus 1, so it's going to be 7 over 5. And now, to get rid of that square, I take the square root on, um, on the other side, actually both sides, but I just show on the other side to get the square there. And then again, take that negative 1 over, and it's, it's, the formula is, is derived from completing the square. So it almost looks like the formula at the end. Again, find your two options, and don't forget three significant figures. Don't count the zero, so it's 1, 2, 3, and this one, it's 1, 2, 3. Three. Okay, I'm just going to press. So if you press this one, it was, I just press one, negative one plus, uh, and then say square root, and you can say seven divide five, and then equals. And no, I thought this is why. Put a bracket. Okay, so let's try it again. So negative one plus square root bracket seven divide five. Close the bracket equal, and then you are sure that that is. So it's uh, after the three was a two, and that's why it stays a three. And do exactly the same there. So this was actually, uh, let I just write it here, 0 0.18321, but that was why it stayed a three. And this one was negative one minus, again remember, square root bracket, seven divide five, close the bracket equals, and this was negative 2.1832, but then it's 1, 2, 3, and that 3 makes it stay so 8. I just showed you, so please don't forget that bracket. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and basically, as I said, there's so many examples in the textbook, but for now, it's just make sure that you can do all the three different methods. Um, just factorize, just the formula, completing the square. Okay, so I want you to stop the video and I want you to do just try now to all the answers. Okay, again you can stop and check as you go. I'm starting with number A. So it's going to be 4x squared minus 16x, that's not nice, plus 15 equals zero. Now, when they just, just say solve, and they don't say two decimal places or three, it's not always, but then try for factorization. Okay, and that is what I'm going to try in this one. So, let's just see factorization, make it two and two, and make it five and three. Try the obvious first. Okay, so this is going to be 10. Uh, this is in group A. Can you see? Go back to the previous videos if you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, factorization. So this is going to add the over cross product. So it's going to be 10 plus 6, and that's 16. Excellent. The signs are the same, and both gets a negative, and then x, x. So basically, it's going to be 2x minus 5, and 2x minus 3, and that is going to be equal to 0. So 2x minus 5 equals 0, or 2x minus 3 equals 0. So 2x equals 5, or 2x equals 3. I divide 2, I divide 2, and I get x is equal to 5 over 2, or x is equal to 3 over 2. And that is your final answer. Okay, that is by factorization. Let's do the next one. Now, usually if they say two decimal places, anything like then go for the formula. So in this case, let's start with this one, number B. They say uh, solve the equation, show all your work, and give your answer correct to then the formula. So first get it in, in the standard form, the correct form. Okay, I first write it as it stands there, and now I will take it over. Always quadratic, take everything to one side. Okay, now don't forget, this is your value A. 
this is your value B, and this is your value C. So I'm going to say X is equal to negative B plus minus B squared minus 4AC over 2A. So it's going to be negative and then 7 plus minus and then it's 7 squared. Can you see I do it in brackets? Then I, it's usually with sign mistakes. If you forget sometimes to write the brackets. So make sure you don't make unnecessary mistakes because this is score marks. So it's negative 7 plus minus and then it's going to be 49. And a negative times a negative is positive. And if you say 4 times 8 times 6, I get 192. And this is going to be negative 16. And then it's going to be negative 7 plus minus, and now 2 for 1, and negative 16. Okay, and we move up. And don't forget what I showed you. So now, just press negative 7 plus square root 2 for 1 equals divide negative 16. And at two decimal places, it's negative 0 0.53. Remember what I said, you can also press it, but then you put a bracket. So negative 7 minus square root 2, 4, 1, close the bracket, divide negative 16, and it will also give you the answer. So then it's 1.41. 1 1.4, and that. Very, make sure you can do that. That's score marks. Okay. Okay, let's just go for the final one. Let's just make space. Okay, here it comes. Okay, so number C, this is number C. Uh, solve the equation by completing. If you do it with another method, then you're going to get zero. If they specify the completing the square, you must do completing the square. Okay, now this is a more difficult one than the one I showed you, but as I said, the textbooks is having so many examples. So just check there. Okay, first step, divide by negative 6, all the terms. Okay, now as soon as you rewrite it, usually I prefer, just make it now a 6, remember, I take that one or I leave a space. And I take that one. And you can already simplify. You can leave it 2 over 6 or you can make it. But it doesn't matter. You can make it a third. Okay. Because it's still the best to press it just on the calculator. Now I'm going to add. So let's just go. Into, I'm going to add. Now can I just show you here on the side. If you're going to say. Okay. At first just the 5 over 6 and you divide it by 2. Then it's actually 5 over 6. Now I'm writing in my space, which I want to work. Okay, can I show you again? So it's 5 over 6 divide 2. But that is actually meaning 5 over 6 multiply, multiply, this is over 1. 1 over 2. So this is going to be 5 over 12. Okay. Do you see that? So just, it's also divided by 2. It's just due to the fraction. So 5, you can put the negative there. It's not going to have an influence. But the positive in front. Because the negative is just going to become a positive. Okay. So now I created a complete square there. So it's always this one. You take the, and then this sign. And then just what's in the, in the bracket. And in the bracket is 5 over 12. Okay, so that, I take this square root, this square root, okay, that sign, and now for this one, I would just say press it on the bracket, on the calculator. So press 2 ABC 6 plus bracket negative 5 ABC 12, close the bracket square equals, and see what your, your calculator, my calculator is saying 73 over 144. Four. Okay, I'm going to just say that again to you. So it's 2 ABC 6. Plus, I'm just putting everything, bracket, you can even put the negative, negative 5 ABC 12, close the bracket, square, equals, and it's giving. So press it on your calculator. 
And then I'm going to get x minus 5 over 12, and I'm taking plus minus square root 73 over 1, 4, 4. And then it's going to be x equals 5 over 12 plus minus 73 over 1, 4, 4. Okay, and now as soon as I'm doing that, um, I can again just press it on the calculator. Okay, if you want, you can take the square root. If you want, can I just show you this? You can write it as, because, okay, I'm going to do it long. So it's 5 over 12 plus minus, but this is 73, 1, 4, 4. And this is 5 over 12, then plus minus, square root 73 over 12, but this is actually 12, 5, plus minus square root 7. You, you can do it like that, but not necessary. In, in AS level, the first chapter, it's not in the syllabus, but I do search the square roots because it's very important that you know a little bit more about roots, okay, and how to work with them. But for now, you can just press on your calculator. You can say 5 ABC 12 plus, I'm doing the plus root, then square root, don't forget your bracket, 73 divide 144 close the bracket equal and if it's three significant figures what i'm getting i'm getting 1.12866 but it's going to be 1.13 that is going to be my answer this one if i do exactly the same i'm going to say 5 abc 12 minus square root bracket 73 divide 144 close the bracket equals and i'm getting 0 0.295333 but let's make it 0 0.295 and that's how i do it okay very very important that you just go through this basic methods of solving a quadratic equation okay okay as, as i said i'm going to do a bit shorter videos um so i'll do the fraction one in the next video so what do i usually like to end just with i'm just ending quickly by showing you so if someone is just watching this video you can quickly see this is the bookshops where you can buy your own copy of the book or where the books are available and then also what I'm also showing now this time of the year, especially this time of the year, because this is the year, the time where we plan for 2024. So this is the NIET, the Okanya, the heart of education, where they create, um, hide all the educational things. But there is the textbooks where they evaluate the textbooks also. So there you will see I highlighted all the textbooks of Y equals MX plus C is um, on the catalog um, and there you will see all of them okay so you can order it for uh, for your school through the ministry of education and make sure that you start on a high note next year